I've been waiting for this. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Samus Returns. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. I'm waiting for the one time you accidentally say the wrong name. <laughs> it's like, no, baby, seriously, I, I was thinking of you, Samus Returns. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking of no Metroid Fusion. <laughs> oh, I'm always thinking of Metroid Fusion. Yeah, come to think of it, that's probably... I think that's what Other M was trying to be. It was trying to be kind of a Metroid Fusion type thing, you know, linear and, and all that. Isn't there also a subplot close to SAX? I think it's called the Deleter. Oh, God. So my playthrough, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that part right now. Mm-hmm. And she, she just... I decided to dub him the Deleter. And I was like, oh, this is stupid. <laughs> as opposed to the Destroyer. As opposed to the Killer. As opposed to the Murderer. As opposed to the Cut and Paster. As opposed to the Control V. Sorry, Control X, then Control V, and then D E L. Oh, thank fuck the Spazer beam. Yes. Oh my heart! I, I, I can't tell you how happy I am to have this on finally. So now my you... output Spazer beam fires three ah, beams at three once. Three beams. So not only can we use the wave beam to go through walls, we can just just it's just, just everything just dies. Nothing will ever be a problem again! The game has become easy! That's how we destroy these doors. At least until you die. Well, I mean... God well, willing, it's not gonna happen for a while yet. Those guys still have shells. Yeah, but it's, it's easy to get them now because you can just hit that weak spot just enough and there you go. Well, that's good. These guys aren't a problem anymore. Those guys are still a bit of a problem. Stupid cloisters. But nothing too bad. Um. So, we only have one Metroid to get for today. Just one. Just the one. That's it. Is he highly educated? I, I, I think he has like three PhDs. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be kind of a shame to kill him, but you know, hey. But he's one of those Metroids that got his PhDs in, you know, topics that nobody gives a shit about. These guys are assholes. Just a giant electroshock. They don't hurt that bad, but all they do is damage your Aeon and you can't use it. Did I not use my spider ball either? Uh. There you go. Yeah, how do you kill them? There are a couple ways. And we don't have that way now, right? The best way is to use your Aeon, but, you know, hey. And they follow you too! They suck! I just wanna say hi. Some of them are fucking everywhere. We, uh, okay. we are now introducing the challenge part of Metroid Samus Returns. It's not challenge, it's, it, it got easier, like I said. Yeah, but they introduced something to invoke challenge. Challenge, <laughs> yeah, uh, well, Anyway. Um, if you die in ten minutes, I get to look over at you and laugh. Okay. Uh, ten minutes starting now. Alright. So at fifteen, uh... Odd minutes and some <laughs> seconds. It's like fifteen ten on the audacity file over here. If I don't, if I die, then you can laugh at me. I mean, it's either that or we find the Metroid, like, right now. There's an Aeon tank! Now, hot, 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 but at least I got it back, so... <laughs> things, things hurting, oh god, there we go. Yeah. Well, while we're looking for the Metroid, I have a bone to pick with music. I recently went to a wedding. Like, mu music in general? Yeah, you'll see. Audible sound is, is what you got a problem with? You will understand when I explain. Well, let's see. So, went to a wedding, bunch of dance oh, music, no. and every kill those things. everybody's having fun on the dance floor. They play a song that I really like. Get up there. Get the... Samus, come on. That's why I don't like uh, the, the circle pad as a method of maneuverability. It is Get Low by, I think, the Ying Yang Twins and Lil John. Great song. Great one to dance to. I had no idea the edit for, you know, PG-13 and lower types of parties is actually worse than the radio edit. What do you mean? So the radio edit cuts out all the naughty words, obviously. You can't be playing that over regular radio. The party edit, which I thought was okay... I mean, no, not the actual edit, the song itself, still filthy. But 
<laughs> instead of ah oh, skeet skeet motherfuckers, they just continue to say skeet. Yeah, I've, I've heard that before. Ah <clears throat> oh, skeet 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 skeet. But the thing is, I listen closely. The motherfucker line's still in there. <laughs> it is actually like. They quieted down the naughty part. Oh, and come then just on. I was, I was saying motherfucker when I was 13. <laughs> and then they added more skeet. I was like, you cowards. Come on. Just put it in there. The Spazer Beam takes care of those things, no problem. So instead of having to switch to another power, you can just act. You, you, you can just shoot him as is. Nice. I've, I've, had, I've had my share of uh, strange edited music. I think uh, my first... And the uh, most egregious example of edited music would be uh, Limp Biscuit's third album, The Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. <laughs> which means asshole and piss, oh, yes. if I am not mistaken. Yes. But it's their coquettish little way of, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, yes. He keeps referencing the, like, the chocolate starfish of the whole album. <laughs> he just really likes assholes. He retains his, his chocolate starfish! <laughs> well, um, it, it was like my first CD I ever got. And I was 11 years old. And, well, it's not exactly the best album for an 11-year-old to listen to. No, it's... So, I got the edited version. <laughs> this second song on, on the album might as well have been an instrumental because of how many fucks they use. Bleep, 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 or just missing. Th that's my favorite part about edited music. Instead of finding different words to add to it, which does happen, by the way. The lyrics go, it's a fucked up world, we're in a fucked up place, everybody's judged by their fucked up face, fucked up trees, fucked up life, fucked up kid, the fucked up knife, fucked up mom, fucked up dad, fucked up cop with a fucked up badge, fucked up job, fucked up pay, the fucked up boss is a fucked up day, you know, that kind of stuff. So, it was just silent. In the second verse he says, if I say fuck two more times, that's 46 fucks in this fucked up rhyme. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. So, uh, the, uh, the, uh, edited version sounds like it's a dub over a dub place. Everybody should <laughs> by their dub face. Dub trees. Dub life. <laughs> dub kid with the dub. Dub mom. <laughs> dub dad. Dub cop with the dub badge. Dub job. Dub pay. And a dub boss. It's a dub date. <laughs> <laughs> Biscuit, you seem to have a stutter. <laughs> What's going on, man? I still liked it, though. But that, that's hilarious. I know. Like, I was gonna give examples of, like, silly censorship on, uh, movies, but I actually have a story about my first CD that I went and bought myself. Had my mom waiting out in the car while I went into oh, a Target God damn you. to buy an Evanescence CD. <laughs> Look, I like Evanescence. Like Amy Lee's voice. But as soon as I came out, she said, you're, you're never going in there without me again. I was like, what? <laughs> she immediately wanted to look at the lyrics. Yeah, that was, that was my mom, too. She didn't trust me. And I, I think the worst thing in that CD was talking about suicide, not committing it, but talking about it. It's it's like a dark kind of thing, you know? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's about death, not about killing yourself. Right. And aim, she flipped her lid. <laughs> but I will say she eventually caved and said, just just don't listen to the lyrics too much. I was like, are you kidding me? Well, there was one band that I wanted to listen to as, as a kid. It was a, it was a band called Flaw. And uh, their their first album had a promo advisor sticker on it, but uh, they it's just because they say fuck like, what, three to five times the entire album. They're, they're a bit more, uh, you know, they stick. Mm hmm. And, and so my mom looked at those lyrics and she's like, yeah, you know, that's okay. You, you can listen to these guys. That, that's fine. Yeah, Metroid's not here. But uh, then, out of curiosity, she looked up Marilyn Manson's lyrics. Oh. And the first line of the first album, the, the first song, I am the god of fuck. <laughs> she's like, nope. Nope. I am the god of fuck. I am the god of fuck. See, I've met your mom before, but this was, like, post-high school. She seems okay with it now. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe not 100%. Well, it was when I was 13, so... Okay, you know. so yeah, that's a no-no. <laughs> Nowadays, she doesn't look too much at my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably good. I mean, at the age you're at right now, it's like, UDJ, what are you listening it took to? took me a while, but I can finally listen to Slayer now. <laughs> 
I can listen to what I want to listen to. This thing always fakes me out. Seems to be the same timing. I think I just distracted it's, you with censored music. It's not always the same timing. Oh, really? That's the thing. Oh, you son of a bitch. Stop! Oh, you Ow. son of a bitch. I couldn't escape because it was lava. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh. I'm here. Freeze I'm here. it. Yeah. Now take take all the all the hundred thousand missiles I have. There you go. And that's our one and only Metroid. Good job, everybody. We did it. We did it. We did do it. It's done. That just reminds me of another CD story. Yes, back when CDs were a thing. A CD? Yes, a compact disc. Compact disc? Yes. Those things are huge. How are they compact? I know, you can't fit them on your wrist. I mean, right. they're, they're no longer in your ear device. You actually have to plug something in to listen to them. It's crazy. But I remember getting a Green Day CD for Christmas <laughs> and listening to it. And uh, this is on my dad's side of the family. They're more the the party crowd. You know, they don't care if you drop an F-bomb. Just don't say it around Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... That's, that's my family, too. <laughs> they want... Well, you listen to American Idiot. <laughs> and I was reading the lyrics along with hearing the song, because I was like, Ah, oh, I've heard this once on the radio. It should be fine. I read the lyrics. It was not fine. Subliminal Mind Fuck America. Subliminal Mind Fuck America! I turned the volume all the way down so they wouldn't hear that. <laughs> and then turned it straight back up and they were like, what was that sound? I was like, no, no, nothing. Oh, oh it, 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 was, it was a glitch in the, in, in the oh, system. Yeah, was, mm, don't don't, don't worry about into, it. Yeah. And then I realized they drop a different type of F-bomb in that one in the second verse. Start of the second verse. Food? Uh, no. Forget, but with an A. Fargut? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> well, let's run with that. <laughs> Uh-oh, that almost sounded like it. Oh, no. Don't make me say it. <laughs> I'm being so... I'm, being so <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Fargo, but with a T. I don't know. How, how do you want me to explain this? <laughs> Just say it. What's the big deal? Nah. Uh, oh, no way. I'm, I'll get demonetized. Don't fucking... <laughs> Surprisingly, a lot of people have not been demonetized for this crap. I don't like it. Because they lie on their on their uh, ad. Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh, super missiles. I think. Uh, oh, you motherfucker! I didn't buy a lot of CDs when I was younger. Mostly because I didn't have the money. I lied. There's more Metroids. There's oh. three more! Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. But, uh, th this is just a special, uh... This is a special area, we'll say. Are they all in the same room? Eh, not really, but... There you go. There we go. I thought that was it. Is there, like, a delay on my end? Because I I'm, like, getting a lot of things wrong I shouldn't be. Maybe you've just lost your touch. Oh, that's the easy way out. Mm -hmm. The hard way is to blame all the the equipment that we're using. This is my house, and I'm supposed to win. <laughs> it's my channel, though. I'm supposed to <laughs> figure out how I'm supposed to win. <laughs> no, there shouldn't be a delay. You're, oh, this motherfucker. you're still one to one. Nah, it's still working. Or maybe it's like a just a, a single decibel, possibly a sing single millisecond that I'm that I'm getting off. Losing all those glorious frames. Where the hell are you going? Oh, there That's we go. That's where the hell I'm going. So I can get this. Push that over and we can move on. Still love the backtracking. It's Metroid. It's Metroidvania. It's all about backtracking. In fact, this has less backtracking than most Metroid games do. That's actually insane. This, yeah, this is actually one of the more linear Metroid games. Not as linear as Metroid Fusion is. <laughs> never, really a, never really minded that, though. I've got a stupid question for you. Alright, I, I got a stupid answer for you. Okay. Glyph Glorfernabgade. 
Dick of an org. Cool. All right, we're in agreement. All right. Uh, do you have any other questions you want to ask? Uh, yes, actually. All right, what do you got? You know how Metroid Dread has been getting tons of advertisements? Yes. Like, Nintendo's really pushing this. Did the other Metroids have as much advertisement? Genuinely curious. I can remember a Zero Mission advertisement. Like an actual TV commercial for Zero Mission. And... I think that was it. And Metroid Zero Mission was one of the least selling Metroid games ever. I don't understand why, though. Hmm. Maybe they heard the Zero and a bunch of reviewers, you know, started writing something and just said, you know what, Zero out of ten, we got it. I spy a boss. Uh, I spy an upgrade that we don't have because it is gone. Uh-oh. Oh! That ain't good. Hey. Oh, uh, well, it's probably nothing. Time to fight the find the dirt bag that stole our present. Funny you should say a dirt bag. It's a giant worm! You remember or that? maybe it's just a bag of dirt. Do you remember that thing we woke up last yes. time? Yes. Well, he's getting breakfast, and it's us! Yep. Oh. Ooh, oh crap! Ooh, run! Ooh, ooh. Run! 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 Oh my God! Fucking I like, run! Ah. I like. I like. This is so cool. Run faster! Run faster! I'm rolling! I'm rolling! 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 Ah. Ah. Gotta be. Ah. Rolling, 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 Look at that! I can't get that because I don't have the metric to break those rocks. Go! 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 Jake, that go! Please go ah! faster, please do better, ah! please don't get hit, please get going. Ah, down here! Phew! Ah. All right, safe! All right, we're safe. We got it. All right. That was an actual Honest to God survival section. I know! It's great! I wonder if that thing is going to kill the Metroids for us. Then we'll be fine. Uh, I, I don't think it will. Oh, I gotta get... Other side. That would be kind of funny. It's like find three more Metroids, and then they get meat grinded, and all of a sudden the. <laughs> In hindsight, the Chozo probably should have used the giant robot. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> you know, hindsight is the Chozo's greatest villain. Uh, yeah. Uh, Brown two, go go go. Ah! We'll probably be back for that Aeon tank, I'm assuming. Yes. Oh god. Had a, had a, had oh god. Ah! Uh, well, well. Ah! Ah! Yeah, those things are insta death. Damn it! I was four minutes off! <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was that was an insta kill that wasn't because of my recklessness. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You, you better fucking believe me. <laughs> oh, good. So we don't have to start up too, too, uh, too far back. Oh, come on. <laughs> See, I am aiming right at it! You should be able to- I, I hate the grapple beam in this game. It you, should- it should just be automatic. You didn't even have the grapple beam out. You don't need to have it out. What? You don't need to have it out. If you free aim towards something that you can grapple beam, you can just grapple beam right onto it. Oh. I was trying to do that. Like that. I didn't even notice. I just always assumed you were that fast at clicking buttons. So you can tell when you're, uh... I'll hurt. Oh, I'll hurt. Oh, I'll hurt. you're you I'll hurt. gonna fuck me, aren't you? Oh! All right, made it. We're good. She good. Consider yourself uncrunched. All right, we're gonna get enough of this one so I can. Uh, wow! There we go. I like that. Huh? We got anything to refill? I don't think we do. Yeah, I didn't make it to this part, so this is cool. Well, good. I was hoping we'd get to the part where you got to. I don't even remember when that officially started. Hmm. Might have been from the last area. I don't know. All right, go! Round three! Run! Uh, Looks like uh, he's a little fat. Is that a trap going up there? What do you mean? Like, can you actually survive going up? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. A little bit, yeah. Right now, you just need to focus on running. Uh, what? 
Oh. <laughs> the suspense. <laughs> I'm enjoying every. Whoa. Oh, oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch! Did you get tossed back like an old potato? Yeah, I got, I got, uh, I got stun locked back into the thing. Oh, for shame, for shame. I know, shame. I know. Oh, I gotta go. You know, I'm really- oh, yeah, um, oh, okay. I'm really surprised this game copied off Mighty Number no. 9. And its section where you had to run from a gigantic drill thing. I'm surprised too. Look, I'm just surprised anybody remembers Mighty Number no. 9. I think we're like... Like eight, uh, like two of the only eight people that remember. What's really funny is I had somebody recently comment on an episode of Mighty Number no. 9 saying, yeah, I didn't want to play through this game until I realized you had a really decent idea of racing the credits. Uh. And safe. Not safe, not safe, not safe! Oh, it's so not safe! Oh, come on! Why weren't you running? I thought I, I thought it was safe rolling! No, running is faster than rolling. Ugh. Failure. Well, this makes up for me not getting the correct time. Alright, for real now. Mm-hmm. For real. It was always for real. Huh? Oh yeah, that's rubber banding. That's He's funny. so rubber banding, it's bullshit. It's getting hot in here. So destroy all your clothes. And very good, very Should've good. Been, now run! Go, 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 go! Oh, this is awful! Ah! Way longer than it should. There's that missing upgrade from earlier. I love that it just coughed up all the stuff it just grinded. Space jump! This is where we get space jump? This is where we get space jump! Huh. You can jump repeatedly in midair. Well, that's nice. So just hup, 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 That is hup, beautiful. Hup, that is, that hup, is ow, hup, the most hup, beautiful thing. Ow. Hup, the most hup, amazing hup, thing. Hup, hup. Oh, come on. Keep going. You're still jumping. Hup, hup. There, there we go. <laughs> You're getting close to my to, to my pitch limits. Hold on, let me step on your foot. Ow. Oh, uh. he, he got lower. <laughs> That's not normal. Alright. I don't think we can get that just yet, or maybe we can. Nope. Maybe we can. That. Didn't come over. Oh, no. Okay, alright. Foolish me! Oh god, these things. For thinking I could get a thing. Foolish me for thinking I could get a thing, but the thing was out of my reach until I get another thing. Is that another thing? This is just an Aeon recharge. Very nice. Alright, I'm looking at the old thing here. Uh, it's time to go up. With the thing. With the thing. Okay. Yeah, I might as well activate this too. I can't get through there yet. So you're jumping with the new thing, so you can access new things. Yes. Newer things, I should say. Well, you can't access that because you need to be on the uh, other side with that thing. <clears throat> starting to realize the frustrations people have in this game. Uh, yeah. Start starting to understand a little bit better now. That's why I consider this a bite-sized game. You're not supposed to play it in long sittings. Well, here we are playing it in long sittings. Unfortunately, yeah. Really, Samus? There's nothing to grab up there, so you gotta go spider ball the entire way around. What did this game get? Eights? I'm, I'm gonna need some. Uh, Sevens? It did, it did, it did fine. I'm curious. Who the fuck cares what it got? I do. Why? It doesn't matter. I'm interested in it useless numbers. It doesn't matter. I'm interested in useless numbers. The only useless number that matters is our useless number. But we're not giving it a number rating. I'm giving it a number rating. Oh. Eh, I gave it an 8. <laughs> another one we can't get, so up we go some more! Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna save. I would, yeah. 
No, it actually did pretty decently. 85% on Metacritic. Who cares? 9 out of 10 on Does Polygon. It doesn't matter! You say that, but you gave it a number. Yeah, I gave it a number. I don't care what other people give it. Well, why not? Because most of the time, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It's fun to have differing opinions. Alright, they can have their differing opinion, but the only one that matters is mine. But you found out why they're frustrated. I want to see why else they're frustrated. I understand the criticism, but I don't care what number they give it. Oh, Polygon gave it a 9. Okay, that's great. Who cares? I bet GameStop gave it like a 6 or something. <laughs> GameStop gave it a 4.6 out of 5. Of course they did. Why does GameStop review games? They barely sell them. Well, the worst one they did was uh, they gave No More Heroes 3 a 4. Yeah, I don't understand that <laughs> one. They, they didn't get it. That's that's the long and short of it. Here's a super missile. Well, you're not exactly supposed to get No More Heroes. We got super missiles. They work. They work. Uh, yes, yeah, is that big they shooty bang bang? Yep. You want to equip them? You got to hold R and then select them. It's it's madness. Ew. Yeah, it's 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 sticky and gross and not great. At least now we can kill Metroids faster. Yes, we can, especially when we're looking around for stuff. Something over here. You know, okay. with that entire like uh -huh, huh. monstrosity yeah. chasing after us, I forgot we were hunting Metroids. Oh, well, now it's hunting us. What? I I assume that thing was added, you know, to to mimic the SAX, those type of tense chasey chasey sequences. Well, didn't SAX normally just like walk menacingly towards you and then fire super missiles at you? They would fire ice beams at you. Oh, that's even worse. That's even worse because you are vulnerable to ice missiles. Because you're part Metroid in that game. So cold. So, so cold. That's actually a great attention to detail. I'm glad they did that. Alright. There's a super missile upgrade and a Metroid hiding around here. It's a fucking beta Metroid, though. Excellent. Which means, which means it likes to hide. This whole red area, it's all for the Metroid. Let's missile go. Oh, super missile for a super missile. There we go. Uh, it only increases by one, though. There are 30 upgrades, so I think you end up getting 35 super missiles in total. Uh, I mean, that's okay. Not bad, could be worse. Yeah. Oh, here he is. I'm assuming. So. Oh. oh, of course. Yes, I know how the super missiles. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. And fire. There you go. It, be it better be here. Ah! Okay, we'll try down below. I think one of these here was there. Yeah, it's right there. Hey, look at that! You need super missiles for everything. You need it for fucking everything. Well, time to head to the supermarket and grab another pack of super missiles. Yeah, I tried to go to the regular market to get super missiles, but all they have were regular missiles. So you go to the supermarket to get super missiles. Try going to the ultra market, but yeah, nothing to do. Nah, they didn't have anything. Not unless you have the murder beam. Uh, 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 yes, yes. I bet it's a bomb. Or two. Oh, three. Oh, okay. Which means that he's gotta be back here in the last possible place he could be. No, no, he's up there. Oh, you are getting on my nerves, you fucking Metroid. <laughs> the point of anger has reached mm -hmm. its maximum. That's where it is. <laughs> through here, <laughs> through here. And then this little cubby. Oh hey! Oh wait, it wasn't oh, hey! ready! No, please, don't take your shower! You did you 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 didn't leave out any fucking uh any snacks for me or anything like that. <laughs> Such a bad host. You're an awful host. Yep. 
And he's gonna run at me. Nope. He's gonna run. He's getting rid of the ice. And get ready for the... And now he's running. Here comes the running. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Probably went down here. Well, had to have. Time for the hunt to the hunt to the hunt. Time for the hunt to the hunt to the hunt. Time to find him. Let's see where they go. He's not down here. So right. He's not on that end. Is he on the... Yep, he's on this end. All right, come here. Come here. Hey, I gotcha. I was getting the hors d'oeuvres ready! You're not supposed to be here yet, Samus! Sploosh! <laughs> Why didn't that melt the ice? Come on, Nintendo. Okay, ready? See? Okay, yes, that was a different timing. I will give I'm you not, that. I'm not crazy! I mean, I'm not cra- You fucking- You're crazy now. Ah! See? Fine when I was getting when I was uh, planning out the routes, like, oh, this isn't so bad. Now it's every little thing, every little motherfucking thing. He always has to run. He sticks around for just half an hour, and now he's not even up here. He's in that other little cubby up there. So I gotta waste even more time traversing over there. And eh, never mind, it is an eight. It is a seven out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers don't matter except when it gets progressively worse as the game goes on. Well, it's true, the only number that matters in life is the one is yours. I thought you were about to say it for number one, which I am. Well, it, look, it's technically, yeah. The only, the, only, the, only number, the, only number, the only number that matters is number one. You, you know, yourself. Me. Yeah. I am number one. It's like, oh, they can give Shadow the Hedgehog all the fours and fives and threes they want. It's a solid 6.5 from me. Shadow the Hedgehog is hysterical. I know. Like, it, it should not be. Unintentionally hysterical. It's the power of hindsight. I had so much fun with that Let's Play with you. <laughs> Just because it was so silly. Well, doing half of it with action replay, that's certainly something. Oh, definitely. That that was, uh, I think, the X Factor. It's like, okay, are we ready? And... Ah! Ah! Gotta go fast! Oh, what speed did you put this at? Oh, you know. Times five speed. Oh, you know, kidding. And all of a sudden, we're at the end. 